Hey you guys, it's Peter and welcome to my channel. Peter, boom, 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 boom. Review stuff and today, we're gonna go through Starbucks and we're gonna try something. Now, I'm gonna review a certain drink if Josh, my main barista, is not there, but if Josh is there, then I have a little secret plan for you guys. So, I'm real excited about it. I actually just came up with it on the way over here because I was like, well, I'll review this of one drink. That's an old drink, but I've never reviewed it on this channel. I've actually had it before. So, if he's not there, then we'll get that drink. So, because um, he is the mixologist barista. Hi, welcome to Starbucks. Let's get started for you. He's not here today. Uh, can I get a venti iced coffee with one equal and I have my own cup? Of course, you can pull forward. And oh, wait, wait, wait. I need oh, something else. Done? I'm filming a video right now. Oh, oh sorry. <laughs> um, I also need um, to get a grande pink drink. Or do I say pinkity drinkity? <laughs> A grande pink drink. Anything else? You're so sweet. Do you know? <laughs> do you know why they're called pinkity drinkities? No. You have no idea why? No. Okay, I'll educate. James Charles calls them pinkity drinkities. Right? Very good, because James Charles calls them pinkity drinkities. Okay. All right. Thank you. <laughs> It'll be eight oh seven. Thank you. <laughs> okay. So James Charles has made the pinkity drinkity, which is called the pink drink. It's super famous, and I've actually had it before, and I thought it was okay. I thought it was kind of watered down, but I didn't think it was bad. But I was wanted to do a Starbucks drink today, so I was gonna do that. <clears throat> Hello. Oh my God, the joke. What gets wetter as it dries? I'm almost kind of afraid to ask because this is a family-friendly channel. It's a towel. Oh, a towel. A towel. <laughs> do you want to be in my video? Yeah. Okay. You want to introduce yourself? Hi, I'm Anna. That's Anna. <laughs> she is a student at Butler in Indianapolis. Yep. She's going on to do big things. Okay, <laughs> here's my. Uh... Thank you. When does Josh work next? Probably tonight. Like this afternoon? He only works Friday afternoons. What other days does he work? Oh, I didn't give you my cup. On the weekend. I'm not here on the weekend. So. <laughs> I, he, it seems like he's in here all the time. Maybe he works Saturdays and Sundays, but not during the week. Of course, he has a different job. Did he used to work more? Maybe. Is he trying to stay away because he knows I want to make videos and I need <laughs> it? I need. It. Oh my God! Look at this. <laughs> oh my God! I do not love those straw little the lack of straw things. Oh my God! Look at this. She was so excited. She's like telling everybody in there. She's like, I'm on a video right now. She just turned around and told these, I don't know these other people that are in here. These must be like new people that I've never seen before. How dare they change? She, oh, she's like turning to, she's like, <laughs> do they want to be on it? They can all be on it. If they want to all be, and they can all be. <laughs> You're, what? I'm the only one who wanted to. You're the star. <laughs> you are such a star. Well, thank you so much, sweetie. See you later. Bye-bye. Okay, I'm so disappointed that Josh doesn't um, work here anymore because, or not, <laughs> he still works here, but that he's not here today because, well, I can't say what my, uh, what I was going to do. So I have an idea. Um, well, I'm going to make up a drink is what I'm going to do, but it's going to be like a special kind of drink. So it's, and it's not like the Peter because we already know that the Peter is a venti iced coffee with one equal. Okay. And your own cup. We already know that. And I would have brought my own cup. Don't come for me, recyclers of the world. I do recycle. Um, except I wanted to show you the beauty that is the Pinkity Drinkity. So if you guys don't know, what you don't know is a lot. Okay. First of all, you should subscribe to this channel. This is like, I'm in the dark, aren't I? Am I in the dark? Okay, Peter. I even trimmed my beard for this stupid video. Okay. <laughs> so, if you don't know what you don't know is a lot. Oh, that's better. Should I just park sideways? Okay. Well, uh, James Charles, so he his go-to drink at Starbucks is supposedly, now you're going to see sunspots in it because my thing is dirty. But anyway, so apparently James Charles, um, which, you know, he calls the shots in the world, if you didn't know that. James Charles is basically, he's basically the president of the world, okay? I mean, if you're under 18, he's the president of the world. Now, we already have a president of the United States, 
We already have presidents and prime ministers and things of other countries if you're over the age of 18. But in the, but in the world, James Charles is basically, he's, uh, some people say, some people don't like him. I don't know why. I don't know why. Yesterday on my main channel, I made a video and it was uh, about James Charles. Of course, I'm making another video about James Charles today. Why wouldn't you? Okay. But anyway, he's always into some kind of drama. But um, on the video, uh, when I was searching on Google, uh, James Charles for the last 24 hours, the first question underneath there was like for more searches was, why is James Charles uh, famous? Good question. Apparently not for the pinkity drinkity, but anyway, so. <laughs> I love this channel so much. If you do not know what the pinkity drinkity is, let me explain it to you. Okay, here, let me pull it up on the, uh, the I was going to say the godforsaken Google. Okay, but the pink drink. Hold on a second. And all you have to do if you want to go in and order it is you have to order the pink drink. Okay, and I want to tell you what it is. It's actually not really super unhealthy for you. So, because I actually looked at it before. Okay, what's a pink drink at Starbucks? Oh my God, their picture is so pretty. Screenshot that for a thumbnail, thank you. Okay, <laughs> we just do it as we go, right? Okay, a strawberry acai refresher. I, did you, any of you call that back in the day, Akai? I so bad, I'd be like, I go into places, I'd be like, um, yeah, I'll have a, a matcha green tea Akai, and they'd be like, acai, and I'd be like, mm, I think it's Akai, and they'd be like, no, I think it's acai. And I'd be like, um, I'm pretty sure it's Akai. <laughs> <laughs> it's acai. Okay. Made with coconut milk instead of water with scoops of strawberries or blackberries or both. Scoops. Okay. Now, the ones that I'm seeing in the pictures have straight up scoops. Do you see scoops? Well, I mean, I see some strawberries in there. Okay. Well, I'm going to taste it and then we'll talk a little bit more about it, right? I mean, that's what we should do. That's a cute thumbnail, don't you think? Hold on. Then I can put the picture in the corner. See? Always thinking. You got to always be on your toes, okay? This is a good one today. This is really good. Yeah. I don't really taste the coconut milk. I mean, it tastes like creamy. Family friendly! It's family friendly. Okay. But it tastes creamy. It tastes like, um, you know, when I first got it, I thought it was going to taste like a watered down, like, strawberry slim fast shake, but it doesn't taste like that at all. It tastes like, it kind of tastes like a mix between like some kind of fruit juice or lemonade, which is probably the strawberry part of it, with coconut milk in it. I mean, it's, it tastes exactly like what it tastes. I think it's delicious. I think it's absolutely amazing. And I have to tell you that, you know, I reviewed that mango dragon fruit crap or whatever it's called. <laughs> I don't know. But I will tell you the other day I about freaked out, okay? I was on my back patio with the dogs, and I love dragonflies. And if you don't know, dragonflies mate for life, okay? I knew these two girls back in the day. They were together. Oh, my God. I thought they had the most dreamy relationship in the entire world. And they worked for my good GD, uh, Tanya, up in the kennel. They lived at the kennel and everything, okay? Because Tanya, her kennel has a house to it and everything. So, in the back, these girls lived there. And I was always like, they had tattoos, okay? Each of them of dragonflies because... Um, because uh, the dragonflies mate for life. And so they were like, oh, we're mated for life. We love each other. We're committed to each other forever. I was so in love. Have you ever had a couple that you're like in love with them as a couple? I know many of you are like that with me and my husband, Alex. Thank you. I appreciate it. Go follow our couple's Instagram and we will be in Vegas all next week and I'll be vlogging it. But anyway, I know. So it's hard. But you know when you are like, it's hard to be in love with a couple. <laughs> you know what I mean? I've got, not like that. Family friendly. But you know what I mean? Like when you have a couple and you're like, oh, I just love them. They're so awesome. That's how I was with this couple, okay? Like, I believed in true love because of them. <gasps> Woo! Okay, I, that got a little, that story got a little too, like, a little too personal. Okay, so anyway, but, um, what was I gonna say? But I was so invested in these girls, okay? I was so invested in them, and I wanted them to be together for life. Well, needless to say, they're not together anymore, okay? They had a very tumultuous, uh, breakup. It wasn't pretty. We'll just put it that way, okay? It was not pretty, <laughs> okay? Now, Tanya Jean, she's still friends with both of them today. And one of them, I think, is I don't know, married to a man and has kids. And the other one, I don't know what she's doing. But anyway. But needless to say, that's not the story. The story was I was sitting on the back patio. And this dragonfly comes out of nowhere and swoops and lands. Okay? You think dragonflies are pretty until one of them is sitting on your shoulder. I was like, get that thing off of me. Get that. I try, listen, I try to be all butch and stuff like that, but I was like, get that thing off me, right? I called Tony, I said, well, I was telling her about, I said, do you remember those girls, well, of course, I had to tell the whole story first, I said, do you remember those girls that worked for you, but I said their names, because, you know, she goes, of course I remember them, I said, do you remember those dragon uh, tattoos they had, on, dragonfly tattoos, I said, one just landed right on me, <laughs> so anyway, okay, let's see, is this a drink healthy, is a good question, uh, pink drink has 140 calories, 2.5 grams of fat, 
60 gram, milligrams of sodium, so you can drink it, I guess, if you're on the uh, Optavia diet like I am. 27, not sponsored, 20, but I should be for eating that crap. 27 grams of carbs, one gram of fiber, 24 grams, that's not, that's high, sugar, and one gram of protein. So if you're on an all protein diet, you probably don't want to do this drink. I mean, because it doesn't have a lot of protein on it, okay? It might, it might make you regular, I don't know. Do y'all know what regular means? If you're not as old as me, you don't remember your grandma asking you things like, are you regular? <laughs> Do you remember the stupidity in school back in the day when you would have to go to the bathroom and the teacher would say number one or number two and you would answer? Why would you answer that question? It's so embarrassing. Don't ever ask that question. Don't ever tell anybody. And if you get asked, you always say what? I don't know. I don't even know. Number one is what is a number one? I hope it's not. My mother used back in the day. She used to say bowel movements. Don't say bowel movements. Okay. Here it is. Starbucks pink drink. <laughs> Our crisp strawberry acai. Acai. Refreshers beverage, here it is. Hold on a second. With its accents of passion fruit is combined with creamy coconut milk. It's a fruity and refreshing sip of spring, no matter what time of year. Now, I want to know, does this thing have caffeine in it? That, some late like last time that I had it, they were like, it's loaded in caffeine. Because you know I need my caffeine. Somebody in my video the other day said Adderall much. I'm like, um, first of all, okay. Go to my vlog. We talk about that on the vlog all the time. That was not very nice. Okay, each caffeine value is an approximate um, value. It says 45 to 55 milligrams of caffeine. So I don't know how, how what that is. Does anybody know? Okay, let's go and uh, well, let's go in here and see what that's like compared to how do you coffee? Let's just look up a coffee, I guess. <laughs> Explore our coffees. Well, all right. Okay. Um, Lighthearted and sunny, balanced and easygoing, bold and complex. I, I'd say I'm bold and complexed. Complexed. <laughs> but I, I, I'm not balanced and easygoing. No, I'm either lighthearted and sunny or bold and complex. I'm really in between, which is why I have so many problems in my life. Um, are there more options? Oh, this is going to tell you your best. I, I'm going to say, I'm describe yourself, bold and complex. What goes best with your coffee? A group of friends, a quiet moment, a busy day. A group of friends, of course. What flavors are your favorite? Uh, dark cocoa, intense and smoky, nuts and spice. I mean, I, go, I love a good nut. Nuts and spice. <laughs> How adventurous are your tastes? I like things simple. I can mix it up sometimes. I love to try something new and different. I can mix it up sometimes, I guess. Okay, so find my coffee is what I want here. Can we get to the find my coffee? Looks like you're outgoing and exciting. You love things dark, bold, and adventurous. Explore the range in our dark roasts and keep your next gathering delicious with these recipes and pairings. Guess what didn't fit in there? The pinkity drinkity, but I'm gonna drink it. I'm not throwing this one out today. I know it, it, it drives y'all nuts when I throw them out, but I'm not throwing this one out today. It's too good. And it's only 140 calories. But here, I'm trying to get the the coffee so you can find it doesn't matter it doesn't really matter does it well i'm gonna tell you what okay i think the pinkity drinkity i think it's beautiful i think there are strawberries in there i think it's fun i thought i think if you showed up at a business meeting you know if you had on this would be perfect okay if you were really trying to be strategic in a business meeting and let's say you showed up and you had on like now i'm talking more about the gals out there okay but if you're a guy too because i love a good pink shirt right with a black suit show up in a black suit with a a little bit of pink underneath there. Okay, maybe hot pink. I think hot pink would be probably pretty good because it pull out the strawberries. And then you show up this meeting with your pink drink and you just sit right there and just sip that thing What? And then when they come to you, see, and they say, well, do you have anything else to say? You put your, hot, your pink drink down and then you, you pick it back up and you go. And then everybody's listening to you. See, this thing demands attention. That's why James Charles drinks it. See, I themed the whole video. It all came back to James Charles. It's all about James Charles. Anyway, the whole world is about James Charles. We already know that, okay? <laughs> she even knew it at the Starbucks. She should. She, they probably, James Charles probably sold more prankity drink, prankity. He's probably sold more pinkity drinkities and I didn't even know this thing existed until he drank it. But anyway, and then I went through there one day and I was so embarrassed. I think I did it on a vlog or something. But one time I ordered it and I said, can I have the pinkity drinkity? And they said, it's just called the pink drink. <laughs> A 47 year old man and ordering the pinkity drinkity. Anyway, I'd give the pinkity drinkity. I would give it, I think it's fun, okay? I would give it five stars. It tastes delicious. Honest to God, would. It tastes delicious. It has some caffeine in it. A little kick. <laughs> 50! 
<laughs> I'm festive. It has a little kick in it. It's delicious. It's pretty, and it is a statement maker. So anyway, five stars to you, the pinkity drinkity. <laughs> I was gonna stop for a second there, but I <laughs> that was how my video was gonna end. Well, I don't edit it. So and this guy's about to hit this pole back here while he's backing out. Anyway. <laughs> I love this channel so much. Okay, anyway, go out and get your pinkity drinkity today. This channel is not sponsored, or this video is not sponsored. This channel is not sponsored. I wish it was. Anyway, I love you guys, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.